first we're going to be adding fractions. So, we're going to add one half plus one half. So, first you start off with one plus one. And one plus one is two. Then we just keep this number the same on the bottom. So our first answer is two seconds. seconds. So, I'm going to hand it over to my partner, Ella, now. Okay, so now we're going to be adding with different numbers. So we still do the two plus four. But what is two plus four? Two plus four is six. So our numerator is six. Now what do we do with the denominators? Oh no, we miss it. Don't add these two first. First, we gotta get the three to a six. And how do we get to a three to a six? We times three times two. Now, we have to times two by the same number. So, times two. And two times two is what? Four. And three times two is six. So now we have four, six, instead of two thirds. Now four, six is four, six. That's four plus four. And now we just keep the same denominator. Six. Now you see how the eight is overpowering the six? This is when you simplify. So now we have to see how many times six goes into eight. How many times does six go into eight? One time with two left over. So now our answer is one and two six. Now I'm gonna do the third one. So now our last one is least common denominator, L, C, D. Now you see how six can't go into eight? That's when we times six times eight, and what do we get? We get 48. So that needs to be our denominator. So we need to times the six times eight, and the two times eight, okay? And now we have to times the eight by six, and the seven by six. And now we have to change these fractions. So 2 times 8 is 16, right? And now we want to do 6 times 8. That's 48. Now the problem with doing this is at the end we'll have to simplify it. But that's no problem, right? Now 7 times 6 is 42. And 8 times 6 is 48. So it's 42 plus 16. Well, 6 plus 2 is... Eight, and one plus four is five. So, 58. And now, 48 plus 48. Oh wait, we can't keep this same denominator. So, 48. So how many times does 48 go into 58? One time. So, I'm gonna write one at the beginning. And now how many are left over? 10. Now we wanna simplify this. So, Another way to simplify, if you don't need a whole number, is to see how many you can divide both of them by. Okay, let's see you try to figure that out. Okay, so we figured it out. It's divided by 2. So it... First, let's figure out what 48 divided by 2 is. It's 4. Okay, so 2 goes into 48. Let's split the 8 from 2, and that's 4. And split the two, 4 into 2, which is 2. So 24. Now, see, we still have a high number, so we'll have to keep simplifying it again. But I think you can do that now that we learned it. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Oop, we got to stop there. We have a prime number right here, so we cannot simplify this anymore. So our answer is... So our answer is 5 24 okay, we'll say thanks for joining three. And three. Thanks, thanks for joining us. us. Subtracting. Okay, so first we're going to do four eighths minus one third. Now, 
needed to get these th the same. So we're gonna do these kind of not. multiply 3 to get into an 8, right? So we want to do this common denominator, like I said. So first we're going to do 8 times 3, and 8 times 3 is 24. So we're looking for 24. Okay. So we're going to do 3 times 8, and 1 times 8, and 8 times 3, and 4 times 4. Now we need to make new fractions. So 4 times 3 is 12. And 8 times 3 is 24. So we can actually more simplify this down to one half. But first, let's not do it yet to see if this can simplify down to anything. Okay, so one third. 1 times 8 is 8. Oh, we might be able to and 3 times 8 is 24. We can divide <coughs> both by 2. But, okay, let's start doing that. So 12 divided by 2. And 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8. So now our new fraction is going to be 12 and 6 and 4 and 12. We can simplify again. We're going to divide it by, we're going to divide it by this time 2. So divide it by 2, divide it by 2. Okay, so the new fraction is 2, 6, and 3, 6. 3, 6, and 2, 6. So now let's start multiplying. 3, 6, minus 2, six. Okay, so we want to keep the same denominator, so let's put that down. And now that's 3 minus 2. If you said 1, you're correct. Our answer is 1, 6. Simplify. turned out to be 1 because it took me 1 to 2. So <coughs> 1 and 2 divided by 6 is 3. So 3. So our answer simplified is 1 third. Okay, so now we're going to do 4 fifths minus 3 tenths. But it's not even. So I have to get our 5 to 10. So 5 times 2. Now we need to make a new frame. <coughs> Ten. Eight tenths minus three tenths. So eight minus three is five. So five here and five is a prime number, so I know it's not going to be simplified now. And then the 
nominator sees a six, so five tenths, or really three, can divide to one half. And you can divide each by, hmm. well, you just know it's one half because five goes into ten two times. Now it's the fraction of the day time. Can you guess what the fraction is? It can be simplified and it's a version of one half. It has double digits. And the fraction of the day is...